What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, my name is Danielle. Welcome. And if you want to subscribe, I'm not stopping you. You can click down below for new videos constantly. So today I'm going to sit down, talk. It's going to be a super chill video. And I'm going to talk about how I want to live a healthier lifestyle. Just little implements that I'm going to make to my life. Small changes, things that I just want to do um, to hopefully, you know, be a happier, healthier me. It's going to range from fitness to food to just lifestyle to all kinds of things. Basically, ever since starting college, I was a freshman at the University of Georgia this last year. It really is a thing. I didn't gain the freshman 15 by any means. However, I do feel different. I don't know if I look different. I don't know. You guys are pretty nice. You don't really comment anything. Let's not comment anything. But I definitely don't feel as good in my body as I used to, which is kind of sad. Like, I used to be pretty confident in myself, and I am. But there's definitely things I notice about myself just in my face and just how I feel on a day-to-day -day basis and I was like, okay, it's time for a change. I want to stop this now before it could get any worse. I'm really excited though because in the fall I'm living in an apartment and I'm not like on the dining plan or anything so I'm going to be shopping for my own groceries and you know, I'll have a better workout routine because I'm in the groove and all that. But there's just certain things I want to start doing this summer and these are things I've already been doing over the summer that are hopefully going to make me happier and healthier so I hope this video inspires you guys I am honestly not a big person into like dieting and like doing all these insane drastic things because I find either you do them and then you go out of it and then you just go cold turkey and or what okay my friends make fun of me for using that term I'm not gonna use that term basically I'm just trying to do casual little things that aren't like the worst thing in the world or just good things that can help my body without like being insane because I literally don't have time for all these intense workouts and for I don't know I don't know if I'm making sense but I just hope this video is relatable and I hope this video can help you guys make small changes into your life to make you feel happier and healthier not like being fit being toned like this isn't like how to get a bikini body this is literally just things I'm gonna do and I want to share them with you guys and if you guys have any tips down below let me know if you guys also want a video about like po body positivity and like body confidence I'm kind of really getting into that right now and I'm so down for it so let me know down below okay I wrote a list down I've been creating this list for the last I don't know two months or so ever since like during finals I was like okay I gotta make a change number one stay hydrated <laughs> I always say that I'm a big proponent of swell water bottles and just drinking lots of water I think the reason I haven't gotten sick this summer because I've been traveling so much is because I bring a water bottle with me wherever I go wherever I am all right let me go I literally have so many lists on my phone it's actually insane in my notes um, how I'm being healthier this summer all right these are in a totally random order again this is just how I'm doing it that's all so the first thing I've been trying to do more is taking my dog for walks which I know is like okay that's like a given but um, my mom usually takes my dog for really long walks all the time so while I'm home for the summer I've been trying to do that more and just going outside with her more because even just going outside is like so good for you getting that vitamin D that's something I also don't get a lot because YouTube a lot of it I'm inside I'm editing I'm responding to emails I'm creating new designs things I'm inside a lot and I'm doing online classes so I'm just inside a lot so I take my dog on walks for two reasons actually three one she's so darn cute her name's Miley she's 11 but she's still a puppy in my mind and she loves going outside for walks so I love doing that number two vitamin D the Sun it feels so good even if it's just like a 10 minute walk it feels so good and it kind of refreshes me number three is because it is a good workout sometimes I'll do like little intervals with Miley so we'll do like a I don't know like 20 second little jog and then we'll walk or like whatever it may be and it's just a good workout and it's just good to like get your body flowing on that same kind of note I have been riding my bike a lot around my neighborhood I'll put it on like the highest gear like seven that's honestly such a good way to work out because you're enjoying it but if you have your um, bike on the highest setting like you're really doing some leg work it's like a spin class in itself so love that. I'll put my AirPods in, listen to like inspirational music. I'm also really into listening to podcasts while I do anything. I think that's also why I've gotten so inspired because all these people in the podcast are like so cool and like do these cool things in their life and are so healthy and happy and I'm just like wow I want to be you. Another thing I've been doing this summer if you guys follow me on Instagram you might have seen some of my Instagram stories I've been going to hip hop classes I obviously was on a hip hop team over the, this last year in Athens Georgia um, but the team's not here in the summer so I've been taking classes with my old hip hop teacher Shaolin Young he is the best he literally taught me how to hip hop like I've known him for 10 years and he does like 
classes every week so I've been going and it's so fun because I'm enjoying it I'm sweating and I'm working out and he'll usually do like battles so at the end of the class like he'll have us battle against different people doing the dance and whoever loses has to do like squats or burpees or whatever so it's definitely a good workout and it's just having fun like these are all things that could like make you happy and healthy. I also just recently purchased a Nutribullet, which is something I have been wanting for a while and just didn't want to get it because I was in a dorm and I knew I wasn't going to use it. I'll have a link down below to the one I bought. It's like a cute little gold one. I'm obsessed with it. I love the Nutribullets because it's literally made to like make a cup of a smoothie rather than like a blender where you have to like you know, pour it into different ones. This is literally like a one cup and done. They have handles and everything. Travel. It's just too perfect. Like, I love the Nutribullet. I've been trying different recipes. I'm using it as a meal replacement, especially for breakfast. Um, so I'll put protein, vegan, I'll put vegan protein powder, um, either kale or spinach, mango, berries, or, you know, pineapple, one of the two. Um, maybe a little wheatgrass. I just got some collagen powder that I've been putting in there, um, and water and a little orange juice to give it a little flavor. And it's great. And it fills me up in the morning for my breakfast. And then I just eat lunch. So, that's what something I'm doing and I just feel so healthy and good and I feel so uh, it's great and it's just fun to make smoothies sorry I'm like really thirsty another thing I've been doing is trying to take the stairs instead of the escalator when we were in Europe one of the days when we were in I think it was Portugal there was like at the subway station or the metro station to get back up and to land once you got to your destination you had to go up like five escalators and I remember one of the nights I was with a few people and the escalators were closed so we had to take the stairs all the way up I kid you not those were a lot of stairs but that inspired me because it was such a good workout and it's just so easy you're just going somewhere you're already on your way might as well take the stairs it's such a good workout I'm most self-conscious of my legs to be honest I've never really been self-conscious about anything else but my legs especially my thighs and my hips it's just something I've just been built curvy I've just been curvy since I was little I swear and I'm self-conscious about it but I know it's just my genetics and obviously there's things you can do about it to tone it so that was a little rant stairs Love it. Something else I've been doing is in the morning to kind of start my metabolism, I've been drinking hot lemon water, which is really good for you. Or if I want um, something a little bit different, I've been drinking hot mint tea, which is really good for your stomach. And it just tastes good. And I don't know, I just feel very clean after I drink hot mint tea. Also, I've been drinking hot green tea, which I've heard is really good for you as well. It has like a ton of health benefits. So I've been doing that. Um, I've been trying to drink less coffee. Over the summer, I don't drink as much coffee just because, like, I'm not waking up at 7 a.m. every day for, like, classes or school or whatever. However, I genuinely love the taste of coffee, so I'm going to indulge in lattes. And I have coffee a lot, but not as much as I did in the school year. I've also been taking apple cider vinegar tablets because if you guys just saw my vlog, um, it was like a weekend of my life at home. You would have seen me try an apple cider vinegar shot. <laughs> never doing that again. That was purely disgusting. I could not stomach it. I almost gagged. I did gag. I almost puked is what I meant to say. So I did some research and I've been taking apple cider vinegar tablets. I have no idea if they're working to be honest, but it's just something I'm trying. It's supposed to boost your metabolism, blah, blah, blah. Me and my girl Delaney Free have been taking them. We both got the same one on Amazon. So filming this video, I'm about to head on vacation for like two weeks with my family. We're going to California and Canada. And the last month or so has been quite crazy. I went to Lisbon, Madrid, and Barcelona, and then I went on tour for three weeks. So we went to New York, Chicago, LA, and then I went to New Jersey after that. And for all those events, I was getting spray tans because I personally like how I look when I'm tanner. And I wasn't having time to like lay out in the sun, and that's also like a whole other debacle. I don't really know what's better for you, spray tans or going in the sun. It could go either way. Let's not start a comment more down below. I'm not in the mood. But um, I wasn't being healthy. I was just I was just constantly getting spray tans and I wasn't working out because I was sweating from and I, I was constantly getting spray tans for these events and I don't regret that. Like I like how I look better in clothing and for photo shoots with a spray tan or if I have tan. So I was doing that for time reasons and then when I have a spray tan, I don't want to sweat so I don't work out. So for the rest of the summer, um, no more spray tans for me, maybe a little self tanner here and there if needed, 
but I'm really gonna try to just be outside more. I'm going on a trip with my family, we're going hiking and we're doing all these things, so I'm just gonna try and be a little bit more all natural. I often don't wear makeup, like I wear makeup today because I filmed a video, but all day today when I got my hair done, when I went to Starbucks, I had no makeup on, like I don't really have a problem without makeup because I did Accutane and my skin's pretty clear, like I don't really care. Um, but I'm just trying to be more natural in the sense of like being healthier with my hair, using more hair masks that are natural, like avocado hair masks, you know, I just got a trim this morning because I want to be healthy. I'm just trying to like be fresher, I guess. So I'm hoping this next month will be good for me, good for the soul, you know, going on hikes, you know, a natural workout, getting vitamin D, you know, being with my family, not worrying as much about the Instagram or, you know, I'm trying to do a lot more just like for me. So I'm still posting videos, I'm still posting photos. Hopefully those photos and videos will be more natural feeling to you guys. I don't really know if this is making any sort of sense, but I'm just trying to do really good for my body so that when I go back to school in the fall, I'll be all good. I also am still really into spin classes. I'm going to my first Soul Cycle class ever in Newport with my friend Megan next week because she lives there right now. Um, I think spin class is an amazing workout and it is so fun and it truly is good for the soul. Like I go here in Tampa, I go to Soho Cycling and I just feel so empowered during the class and after. It's just such a good way to like sweat it out, get all the detox in, or the, all the toxins out. I love it. And lastly, I've just been trying to make better decisions when it comes to ordering food when I'm out to eat, which is often over the summer because I'm traveling a lot, aka I don't have groceries in my hotel room. Um, so it's definitely kind of an issue sometimes for me because like if I'm at home, my mom's the one buying the groceries and you know, she's a really healthy gal so we don't have a lot of unhealthy food available. However, when I go out to eat, pasta is my vice. Like pasta, bread and butter, like if it's on the menu and I'm hungry, like that's what I want and I'm trying so hard to like not automatically order pasta because I don't know people say carbs you know that's pasta is good for you sometimes but it's only if you're about to like play in a soccer game or something like I can't be eating as much carbs as I do it's just something that I don't know I'm a big fan of like eating what you want to an extent like I don't want to like count calories or like be like is this ingredient in it like I want to enjoy my life and I want to enjoy my food but I also want to be conscious so I've been ordering like Caesar salads more with chicken I don't even use salad dressing so the Caesar salad it's just basically a bowl of lettuce with like grilled chicken, which I think is pretty good for you. I've been trying to at least order like a side of broccoli or like just like little things to make me feel better. I've just been trying to like try different things. I never order like soda um, when I'm like at dinner or something. Like I always order water with lemon. Unless I'm with Kenzie, then we get Shirley Temples. That's definitely a thing. So yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found it somewhat helpful. I'm really into like the whole lifestyle videos right now just kind of like I've been trying a lot of new skincare products and I've been really into listening to podcasts and I've been buying so many random things on Amazon that are like supposed to improve your life so I kind of want to make a video like products I bought to like improve your life and I'm kind of really into like I got a jade roller I'm really into it. it feels really good on my skin random like this liquid IV powder I don't know let me know if you guys are into that anyways I'm gonna end this video I hope you guys enjoyed again just Leave lots of comments down below. I want to know, did you like this video? Do you want more videos like this? Do you want a video on body positivity, confidence, all that fun stuff? Just comment down below. I really read the comments. I respond to a lot of them too. So like, don't think I'm not seeing them. So AKA comment down below. I need your help. I need your help. I love you guys so much. Make sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to see my everyday life. I'm really into Instagram stories. I finally just did like the highlights so you can like look at my past Instagram stories. I have like a things I'm loving right now one, like ones from my trips, like my merch, all that fun stuff. But yeah, subscribe if you like this video and I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Please like, share, subscribe my channel, And do not forget to press the bell icon so you will get the notification when I upload a video. And also, we are giving away free ebook to our first 10,000 subscribers. Please click the link below on the description box.